What's wrong, hero? Whoa! Is that an echidna or a bull? Hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. Hey, Leo. Is something wrong, Kyle? My ATV's been taken over by spiky hedgehogs. They're everywhere. They're on the handles, on the seat, on the wheels, under the wheels. They won't leave, and I can't get to my ATV at all. Hedgehogs? What are they doing on your ATV? Nothing. They're just there. I tried picking them up, but they're too prickly. Here, I took a photo of them. Hmm. We'll be right over to help you get your ATV back. Thanks. See you guys soon. Ranger out. All right. Let's go find out what animals have taken over Kyle's ATV. Just as I suspected, those spiky animals aren't hedgehogs. They're echidnas. Echidnas? That's right. The echidna, also known as the spiny anteater, is one of only two mammals that lay eggs. The other mammal is the platypus. Echidnas love to eat ants and termites. They have no teeth, so they use their long, sticky tongues to slurp up the ants. So, the animals on Kyle's ATV are echidnas. Let's head over to help Kyle get those echidnas off his ATV. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Did you figure out what to do about the hedgehogs? They're not hedgehogs, Kyle. They're echidnas. Echidnas, huh? Well then. Excuse me, Echidnas. Will you please get down from my ATV? Oh, no. Not another one. What's wrong, Hero? Whoa! Is that an echidna or a bull? Either way, I wouldn't touch that. It says here that when an echidna is frightened, it curls up into a ball to protect itself with its armor of spines. Were you trying to play with the echidna, Hero? I know you meant well, Hero, but you should keep a safe distance away from them. Their spines would hurt you. They refuse to leave. I'm never going to be able to use my ATV again. How will I travel now? There are other forms of transport, Kyle. You know what would be a good way to get to places quickly? These bad boys right here. Your boots? My legs, to be precise. I can run really fast. Just watch. Woohoo! Oh, I can run like the... <sighs> wind. <sighs> We really need to get my ATV back. Did you guys see that? My snack box just moved. I think something is trapped inside. Well, let's have a look then. But how are we going to open the box? We can't get too close to the echidnas. They'll hurt us. Aha! I have an idea. Jetpack activate. I'll just use my grabber. Great thinking, Leo. Oh, it's another echidna inside. Are oh, my snacks safe? I don't think there's any left. <gasps> Not my snacks, too. Look, the other echidnas are moving towards the snack box. That's strange. Why are the rest of them trying to get to the echidna in the snack box? Because that's the female echidna. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. It's an echidna train. Choo-choo! A, a train? During mating season, male echidnas would follow a female echidna around, forming an echidna train. When the female is ready to make babies, the males will dig a circular pit in the ground and try to push each other out of it. The winner will make babies with the female. Judging from how the others are trying to get close to that echidna, it must be the female echidna. So, the other echidnas will follow the female wherever she goes? That's right, Katie. Hmm, I got it. If we want to get all the echidnas off Kyle's ATV, we have to find a way to lure the female echidna off. Then, the rest will follow. 
I hope she's hungry. We did find her in my snack box, and all the food is gone. Food? That's it. We should set up a picnic. Because echidnas like picnics? No, Kyle, but echidnas like to eat ants. And ants are attracted to picnics. Good idea, Leo. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's have a picnic. Mm, mm, mm. Look, it's working. The ants are headed this way. The female echidna has spotted the ants. She's on the move, too. It's an echidna train. Choo choo! <laughs> Bye, Bye echidnas. echidnas! Yes, we did it! I got my ATV back and I get to enjoy a picnic. <laughs> This is turning out to be the best day ever! <laughs> <laughs> A giant guinea pig! It's trapped. Hang in there. We'll get this off you in no time. Just a little bit more, and you're free. Friendly, but what is it really? Well, let's find out. I've just sent you its photo, Katie. Can you check it out? Let's see. Oh, it's a capybara. Capybaras are the largest rodents in the world. They're closely related to guinea pigs. Capybaras are social animals and are frequently seen hanging out with other animals. No wonder it's so friendly. They're also semi-aquatic, which means that they live both on land and in water. They tend to spend a lot of time near rivers or lakes. Well, we better get back to patrolling the forest for fires. Bye, Capybara. Bye, buddy. Bye-bye. See you later. Oh, hello again. I think it likes you, Peo. Really? Oh! <laughs> Can you come along with us, Leo? Please! Please! Pretty please! Sure, Peo. We could drop it off at a river along the way. Yay! Come on, buddy. Time to go swimming. It doesn't want to go. Hmm. We just need to give it a reason to... Oh! Oh! I know! I know! A ball? What's the ball for? It's for the capybara. If I throw the ball into the river, maybe it'll jump into it to chase after the ball. I guess we could give it a shot. Come on, buddy. Get the uh, ball. Hero. Huh? huh? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing in the river, Ranger Rocky? Oh, I've been removing fishing wires. Animals could really hurt themselves by getting tangled up in these. Oh, hello there. Capybaras are strong swimmers. Their toes are partially webbed for paddling. Their small eyes, nose, and ears are located high on their heads, so they can easily keep their faces above water. This helps the capybara stay alert. <gasps> Smoke! Oh, oh. It's a forest fire! Everyone stay calm. I'll put out the fire. Hang tight, Junior Rangers. Be careful, Ranger Rocky! We have to get the animals across the river to safety. Let's get all of them into Platypus One. Sounds like a plan. Good idea. Huh? Where's the capybara? Oh, there it is. <gasps> There's more smoke now. We better hurry. Everyone in? Oh, we'll come back for you later. Promise. Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! And 
Away we go! <gasps> Guys, look! The capybara's helping us! Awesome! Thanks, buddy! Oh, no! Faster, Leo! The smoke is almost at the river! Okay, hang on! Whoa! <laughs> Let's get the rest of the animals! Okay! Roger that! Wire. Hero, let's use our grabbers to untangle the wire. Kitty, take the wheel. Got it. Jetpack, activate. Ugh. Almost. It's stuck. Look! The capybara is here to help. Huh? But shouldn't the capybara be afraid of the snake? It's biting through the wire. Well, Snake. Thanks, buddy. You saved it. <gasps> Guys, look. <gasps> oh, no. The snake. No, 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 no. It's going to eat our friend. I can't watch. It's okay, Teo. Look. It looks like the capybara has made a new friend. We made it! Now, let's get these animals out of Platypus 1. Roger that! Roger that! Off you go! Bye! Run, little tortoises! Run! Faster! Guys, look! The smoke is almost gone. Ranger Rocky must have put the fire out. Oh! Ranger Rocky, are you all right? I sure am, Leo. All clear. The fire is out. Good job, Junior Rangers. Yay! We did it! Good job, Ranger Rocky! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I found, Hero. It's our Frisbee. Do you want to play? Catch! Good job, Hero. One more time. Catch! Oh, hello. You can run really fast. Where do you come from? It looks like a deer. I wonder how it ended up in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. Say cheese! Hi, Katie. Hi, Leo. It looks like a young deer. That's what I thought, too. Can you find more information about it? Yes, I can. Great. I'm coming up. What did you find out? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a young reindeer. And because it's young, it's a reindeer calf. A reindeer? Aren't reindeer the animals that pull Santa Claus's sleigh? Yes, the very same. Reindeer are found in Northern Europe North America, Greenland, and Asia. They live in the mountains, woodlands, or the tundra. The tundra? The tundra is a large and mostly flat land. It's a very cold place that is often covered in snow. Almost no trees grow in the tundra. To find food like grass and small plants, reindeer will travel long distances to colder regions during summer and travel to warmer regions during winter. This traveling is called migration. Reindeer can travel up to 5,000 kilometers a year. It helps that reindeer can run very fast. A baby reindeer can start running within 90 minutes of its birth. However, sick reindeer, older reindeer, and calves are often easy targets for predators like eagles, wolves, and lions. This is because they are not as fast as a healthy young adult reindeer. Mother reindeer usually travel closely with their young when they migrate.
This reindeer calf must have been separated from its mother. We should take it back. Come and join us. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. I see you've made a new friend, a young reindeer. We think it might have been separated from its mother. You just missed its herd, Junior Rangers. A group of reindeer is called a herd, and its mother should be in that herd. It left the woodlands this morning for the much cooler north. How can reindeer survive in the cold? Reindeer have fur with two coat layers. The undercoat is soft wool that stays close to their skin, while the outer coat is made up of long and hollow hairs that trap body heat. Reindeer have a strong sense of smell, too, which allows them to find food in the snow. How can reindeer walk and run on snow, Ranger Rocky? Reindeer have four toes on each foot called hooves. When a reindeer walks on snow, its hooves spread out wide to support its weight and help it walk steadily. The sharp edges of the hooves give reindeer a good grip on icy or rocky surfaces. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Oh, no! The reindeer has jumped into the water! Don't worry, Leo. Reindeer can swim very well. They often swim during migration. Let's follow it. Hmm, the reindeer has slowed down. What happened? It says here that reindeer calves may not have enough strength to swim across a river as wide as this one. Ah. Oh no, what ah. can we ah. do? I know, let's use this rope to pull the reindeer in. Here goes. Oh no, the water is moving too strong here. You got it, Hero. Well done. Phew, that was close. You saved its life, Hero. Okay, Hero, to find the young reindeer's herd, you have to look for a grassland near a hill. Good luck. How about here? Is this a grassland near a hill? Yes, it is. And there is the reindeer's herd. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, that reindeer must be the calf's mother. The bond between a mother reindeer and her calf is so strong that they can recognize each other by smell. We did it. We found the reindeer's herd and mother. Good job, everyone. What's the matter, Hero? Did your name sign fall off? Don't worry, Hero. I'm sure we can fix it. Hey, was that a penguin? I think it likes your doghouse, Hero. <laughs> Shh! I think you're scaring it, Hero. Hi, penguin. Don't worry about Hero. He won't bite. Oh, you have yellow eyes. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. Don't be shy, penguin. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. This penguin is called a yellow-eyed penguin. It is one of the rarest penguins in the world. That means there aren't many of them left. Yellow-eyed penguins are only found in parts of New Zealand and some islands around it. Wow, so we're very lucky to meet one. What do they eat? Yellow-eyed penguins eat fish and squid, which they catch in the sea. However, their natural home is in the forest of New Zealand. So after a day out at sea, they return to their nests deep in the forests. Since yellow-eyed penguins are endangered, it's important that they have more babies. That's why this penguin should live in a place where there are other yellow-eyed penguins. Which means we should take it home. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, 
I see you have a yellow-eyed penguin with you. Yes, Ranger Rocky. It was hiding in Hero's doghouse. Perhaps the yellow-eyed penguin thought the doghouse was its nest. Yellow-eyed penguins are known for their loud calls. They use these calls to greet or look for one another. Unfortunately, many of the forests where yellow-eyed penguins live have been destroyed. Another danger for them are larger animals that hunt them and, of course, humans. Many tourists love to come and see these rare animals. Unfortunately, some of these people do not behave in the right way. They get too close to the yellow-eyed penguins, make too much noise, or take photos with the camera flash on. These actions scare the penguins. So, if people want to see the yellow-eyed penguins, they should watch them from far away and remain quiet. Right, Ranger Rocky? Correct! Yellow-eyed penguins are very shy, especially during breeding season. They do not like much interaction. That's why they nest deep in the forests that are near the sea. They even prefer to nest away from each other. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Look, Leo! There are two yellow-eyed penguins there! They are making the loud calls Ranger Rocky told us about. A yellow-eyed penguin is shouting, too! The people here call the yellow-eyed penguin hoi-ho, which means noise shouter. So they call them hoi-hos. Hey, what's that? Oh no, there are two tourists over there, and they are taking photos. The penguins are running away. They must have been frightened by the camera flashes. Leo, we have to stop them from coming too close to the penguins. Hero, where are you going? There he is. Maybe we can use sticks to build a fence. A fence could stop the tourists from coming closer to the penguins. Hmm, no. That would take much too long. Yeah, you're right. I know. Do you have markers, Leo? Yes, I do. Here. Hero, I think we'll need one more stick. Great idea, Katie. Let me help you. There. That should do it. And there's Hero, just in time. Yes, it's working. Hooray! Look, the penguins are coming back. So, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the yellow-eyed penguin's nest, just listen for the hoi Ho's call. Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Okay, Hero, to find the yellow-eyed penguin's nest, you have to listen for the hoi Ho's call. Good luck! Yes, it is! I think we found the yellow-eyed penguin's home. Look, there's another penguin. It must be our penguin's mate. We did it! We found the yellow-eyed penguin's home. Great job, everybody! Hooray! Yay! a yellow-eyed penguin in our garden. We learned that the yellow-eyed penguin is rare and endangered and that they live in the forest. So we took it back to its home where it can be safe. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs> Holy moly, a mole. <laughs> That's a mole, hero. Moles live in holes and tunnels that they dig underground. We call those tunnels burrows. <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. 
What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm in South Australia right now, and you won't believe what I just found. It's a large burrow with mysterious tracks all around the entrance. And guess what? There are cube-shaped rocks stacked outside. <laughs> Yuck! And they're stinky. I wonder what animal lives inside. I'll send you guys a photo of the stinky cube-shaped rocks. Stinky cube-shaped rocks? That's weird. Kyle, we'll look for more information about this mysterious animal. In the meantime, be careful and don't go into the burrow. We don't know what could be inside. Roger that. I'll be right outside waiting. We'll get back to you soon. Ranger out. It seems the rock isn't a rock after all. It's poop, and it belongs to the wombat. Wombats are the only animals known to produce poop that's cube-shaped. Wombats are also one of the largest burrowing mammals in the world. So Kyle found a wombat's burrow. He wouldn't go in without us, would he? Hello? Is anybody in there? Are these cube-shaped rocks yours? Hello? <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Hey Leo, it's me again. Hi Kyle, you're breaking up. Is everything all right? Yeah, uh, about that. We found more information about the animal you were looking for. It's a wombat. And the stinky rocks you saw are actually the wombat's poop. So I'm stuck in a wombat burrow? Cool. Stuck? What do you mean? Well, I was just waiting outside the burrow, but then I fell inside. By accident. And the entrance collapsed behind me. Oh, no. Are you okay, Kyle? I'm fine. It's just a little dark in here. But I have some snacks with me, so all's great. Good. Katie and I will be right over to get you out of there. Ranger, out. Oh, well. When in trouble, have some chocolate. It's so big. I wonder what animal lives in there. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What were you doing in there? I was practicing my burrowing skills with these claws. What are you doing here? Junior Ranger Kyle is stuck in a burrow after finding some cube-shaped poop. But we're having trouble finding him. Cube-shaped poop? That has to be from a wombat. Wombats leave their cube-shaped droppings outside burrows to mark where they live so other animals stay away. When startled, they may dive back into it. Is everything all right? Not really. I ran out of chocolate. Are you here yet? Hey, what's the sound? <gasps> it's a baby wombat. Look, I found a new friend. Ah, uh, it's so cute. I'm glad you found a friend, Kyle. Hang in there. We're coming for you. Ranger out. There's no time to waste. Let's split up to look for him. Ranger Rocky, can you take that part of the forest? We'll take the other. Great idea, Leo. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Leo, it's a wombat. Could the burrow that Kyle is trapped in belong to that wombat? Let's follow it and find out. <gasps> it's a dingo! Hero, come back! No, Leo. We should be following the wombat instead. It might lead us to its burrow and Kyle. I'm sure Hero will be fine. He'll be able to handle the dingo. We have to save Kyle. You're right, Katie. Let's go. A wombat burrow. It's the exact same stack of poop. Kyle's hat. We are at the right burrow. Be careful, Katie. It might be the dingo. Ranger Rocky! Hero, you're all right! Hello, Junior Rangers. I saw Hero chasing a dingo away. Is everybody all right? Yes, we are. Is this the burrow Kyle is trapped in? Yes, it is. Well then, 
What are we waiting for? I'm glad I practiced my burrowing skills. Let's help them too, Katie. They're here! You see that, baby wombat? My friends are here to save me! Hero found something. Pants? Thanks for coming to get me, guys. Can I have my pants back? Hero tried to pull me out, but he pulled my pants off instead. It was nice meeting you today, baby wombat. Thanks for letting me stay in your home for a while. And thank you for getting me out of there, guys. Oh, I wish I could offer you some chocolate, but I'm all out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that you, Junior Ranger Pale? What's up? Hola, Leo. What took you so long? You're never going to believe what I found. There's a monkey climbing down a tree. Really slowly. And it's green, but there's no such thing as a slow green monkey. So I thought I'd better call Leo for help because there must be something wrong with it. Um, just give me a minute, Pale. Oh, and I took a photo of it. I'm sending it to you right now. Um, thanks, Pale, but... So what should I do, Leo? Do you think it's sick? Sorry, Pale, but I can't look at your photo right now. I'll get back to you once I'm done, okay? Oh, okay. Hmm, what is this? <gasps> it's algae! The green stuff is algae! What was that? It's okay. I know what to do now. Thanks, Leo! Huh? Wait, Peyo! Don't worry, monkey. Peyo and Pico will make it all better. Hmm. Who was that, Leo? It was Peyo. He found a really slow green monkey. Hmm. I don't think that's a monkey. But there's only one way to be sure. To, to the, the treehouse! Tree Let's see. It's not a monkey. It's a three-toed sloth. Sloths spend most of their lives hanging upside down from trees. They only come down once a week when they have to use the bathroom. <gasps> once a week? Yep. Sloths move very slowly to help them save energy. In fact, a sloth's slow lifestyle allows algae to grow on its fur, causing its coat to turn green. The green fur helps it camouflage itself in the trees and hide from its predators. So, a green sloth is a safe sloth. I'd better tell Peo. Hola, Leo. Hey, Peo, guess what? That's not a monkey you found. That's a sloth. That's right, and there's nothing wrong with it. Sloths move slowly, and its green fur is a useful camouflage. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? I cleaned off the algae. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's squeaky clean. What do we do? What do we do? Don't worry, Pale. We'll be right over to fix this. Ranger, out. Hi, guys. Wow, it's really slow. It'll be way safer up in the trees, but it's going to take forever. We've got to help it grow faster. But how do we make it grow faster? Why crawl when you can fly? Huh? A flying sloth? Wow! Cool! The equipment we brought sure came in handy. Ready, Leo? Got it. Now let's fly this sloth back to its home. Yes, it's working. Slowly now, steady. Huh? What's going on? That's not supposed to happen. Oh no, the sloth. I can't control it. It's not responding. Incoming! Watch out! <gasps> wow! Is this because you dropped the remote? Hand it over. Maybe I can fix it. Here you go, Katie. I'm really sorry. It's flying away! We'll go after it. Jetpack, activate! The buttons seem fine. Uh, what if I replace the batteries? Um, I want to help too! Aha! Uh -huh. Katie, can I borrow your jetpack for a second? Sure, Pale. Jetpack, activate! Whoa! Wait, ah! what? Oh no! Pale, stop! Do you even know how to use it? Hang in there! I can do this, I can do this! Ah! I can't do this! Leo, help! 
Huh? Hey, yo! Uh-oh! Hero, you get the sloth. I'll get Payo. Payo? Payo! Payo! Thanks, Leo. What were you doing with Katie's jetpack? I just wanted to help. Did you find the sloth, Hero? Over there! It's the sloth! It's swimming! It's pretty fast! I thought sloths were slow. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Sloths have a trick or two up their sleeves. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Sloths can swim three times faster than they move on land. And they're great underwater, too. They can hold their breath for up to 40 minutes. Hmm, what happened to the green algae on its fur? It was all my fault. I washed the algae off the sloth. It wasn't your fault. You tried. No, I'm the worst junior ranger ever. I'm bad at everything, except plants. I know everything about plants. Wait a minute, aren't algae plants? They're like plants. They need sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and some nutrients to grow. I know everything about algae. Then growing algae is right up your alley, Peo. Let's grow algae on its fur. <gasps> yes, of course, I can help. Give it a try, Peo. I'm sure you can do it. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. All right, Peo, do your thing. We did it! The sloth is green again. Let's make sure he gets home safe. Any time now. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Hold it. Hold it. Oh! Ranger Leo speaking. Hero? Oops, sorry about that. Hi, Junior Ranger Peo. What's up? Hola, Leo. Look at my llama. Huh? Okay, it's not exactly mine. I'm taking care of my cousin's pet llama, Spitz. But I don't know anything about llamas. Ooh, llamas. Don't worry, Peo. We're here to help. Did someone say llamas? Hey, Katie. Peo wants to learn more about llamas. He's helping to care for one. I've just sent you its photo. Aww, it's adorable. I can't wait to find out more about it. Come on up, Leo. The computer is ready to go. Right behind you, Katie. Just leave it to us, Peo. I'll call you in a bit. Ranger out. Let's see. There it is, the llama. Llamas are herbivores. That means they eat only plants. After a llama chews its food, it swallows it, then brings the food back up to its mouth and chews it more before it swallows it again. Llamas are strong. They can endure harsh conditions like extreme temperatures and they need little water. Llamas are pack animals, animals that help humans transport goods. However, if the load is too heavy, these stubborn animals may refuse to move and lie down on the ground. That must be Peo, right on time. Hey, Peo. Leo, help! Huh? What's wrong? I tried to ride Spitz, and now I can't get down. Ah! Where are you going, Spitz? Stop! Whoa! Ah! He's not stopping, Leo. What do I do? It's dangerous. Oh, no. Hang in there, Peo. We'll be right over. Ranger out. I got his location. Awesome work, Katie. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> hey, oh! Spit! Stop! Oh! Help! How do we stop a llama? By adding more weight on its back. Hero, I need you to land on Spitz. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! They're not heavy enough. Ah! Leo, we need you! Got it! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! It's not working, Katie! We're all gonna fall! Stop right there! Huh? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers! 
Is everything all right? You saved us! Why is everyone riding a llama? I was trying to take Spitz to see my favorite flowers. I'm helping my cousin to take care of him. And we were trying to stop Spitz because he went out of control. Hey, you couldn't get down. Careful now. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. You're welcome. He's one cute llama. Spitz is so not cute. I was wrong. Humans and llamas can never be friends. He doesn't listen. He's dangerous. <coughs> and he's Spitz. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Don't be so quick to judge, Peo. Llamas are usually quiet and gentle. They only spit when they're feeling threatened or irritated, and it's mostly directed at other llamas. Humans and llamas can certainly be friends. In fact, llamas are a huge help to us. Not only do they transport goods, they also guard farm animals like sheep. Their dried poop can also be used as fuel or fertilizer. Have you tried to befriend him, Peo? talk about it, but then I got carried away. Literally. <sighs> I'm sorry I said that, Speeds. <gasps> Not again! Cheer up, Peo. Just leave it to us. We'll help you befriend Spitz. Ah, uh, friendships are beautiful. That sounds like a wonderful idea, Junior Rangers. See you around. <gasps> Huh? Peo, I think Spitz is hungry. <gasps> of course, food. Pico loves it when I feed him his favorite berries. I just have to feed Spitz his favorite food. What's your favorite food, Spitz? Tacos, cupcakes, pancakes? <laughs> Spitz is an herbivore, Peo. He eats plants. Plants? I have plants in my bag. Here, Spitz. Oh no, not again, not the face, not the face. <gasps> He's eating it. Spitz is eating my plant. He accepted my gift. We're friends now. Congratulations, Peo. Do you want some more? Oh no, this is impossible. I'm all out of plants. No, Spitz, come back. Calm down, Peo. I think Spitz likes to eat that plant. All we have to do is find more of it. Let's split up and search. Of course! Wait for me, Spitz! We're going to be best buddies after all! Did you guys find it? No, nope. neither did I. Over here, guys! I found it! <gasps> Peo, it's dangerous! Get away from there! <sighs> but I'm so close! Just a bit more! Got it! Whoa! Huh? Spitz! You saved me! Peo, are you all right? I sure am! Spitz saved me! Oh, huh. I guess he just wanted to save the plant. Huh? <gasps> Aww! You did it, Peo! You're friends now! Yay! Now let's go see my favorite flowers together! Ugh! <laughs> 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 What's that smell? And I don't mean the flowers, Katie. It's coming from over there. Hey, you! We're definitely getting closer. It's... Hero! Stay, Hero. Good boy. When was the last time Hero had a bath? I think it was... Hmm... Um... Oops. <laughs> I don't remember. Come on, Hero! It's bath time! Hero, come back! You need a bath! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai! What's new? Hi, Leo! I'm updating my smell collection! I've been collecting different smells of animals and plants to use as smell bombs! Wow, sounds awesome! It is! I'd like to add the smell of a red panda to my collection. We'd be glad to help. Cool beans. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hero's bath will have to wait, Katie. Kai needs our help to find red pandas for his smell collection. Red pandas? I'm sure the computer will give us more information. Red panda. Here it is. 
Even though they're called red pandas, they don't look anything like pandas. While both pandas share similar names and eat lots of bamboo, they're not closely related to each other. Does it say where we can find them? Red pandas can be found in the eastern Himalayan forests. They spend most of their time in trees. I'll tell Kai about what we found. Hi, Leo. Did you guys find anything? We sure did. Red pandas can be found in the trees of the eastern Himalayan forest, and they eat bamboo. So we'll have to search for a forest with lots of them. Great. I'll narrow down the search and send you a location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hi, Hi Kai. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. This is the perfect spot to begin our search. There's bamboo everywhere. <laughs> Ew, what's that smell? <laughs> uh, Hero hasn't had a bath in a while. <laughs> well, it's a very strong smell. I've never smelled anything like it. Speaking of smells, we should really begin our search for the red pandas. Of course, red pandas. But what now? Which way should we go? Do you guys hear that? Is that a red panda? <laughs> Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? We're helping Kai look for red pandas so he can collect their smell. But we don't know where to start. Like skunks, red pandas release a strong smell to drive others away when they are afraid. I believe that's the stink Kai is looking for. Red pandas also use their smell to mark their territories. They leave a smell behind to inform others that the area belongs to them. Good idea, Hero. We can trace a red panda by the smell it leaves behind. I'll use my smell detection vision to find the red pandas. The smell detection vision detects the chemicals present in different animal smells. Right now, it's searching for the red pandas. Got it! Over there, guys! Bye, Ranger Rocky! The smell is strongest here! It's a red panda! Cool beans! Time to get its stink! <gasps> it's headed this way! <gasps> Oh, man! It's your new smell bomb, an earthworm. I already have that one. I just want the red panda stink. What if we tried getting closer to it? Jetpack, activate! Hey, wait for me! Hover boots, activate! It's just sleeping. How can we get it to release its stink? Ranger Rocky did mention that the red pandas release their strong smell when they're afraid. <laughs> Hero, it's not right to frighten the red panda like that. But do you smell that? It worked! That's the smell I'm looking for! Be careful, Kai. Yes, the red panda stink has been successfully added to my collection. Stay away! There's nothing for you in my backpack! Oh no! Katie is in trouble! What are those animals up to? No worries! The red panda stink would ward them off! One red panda smell bomb coming right up! What's going on, Kai? Where's the smell bomb? It's not shooting! I don't understand! There's nothing wrong with my smell bomb! I'll take that! Hang tight, Katie, and hold your breath. Yay, we did it! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Where are you? <laughs> what is it, Hero? It's a bee. Careful, Hero. Keep a safe distance. The bee is collecting nectar from the flowers. Let's find out why. The bees collect the nectar and return to the beehive to make honey. What was that? It's a small bear. Ah. 
I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little bear. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is almost done. This animal is a sun bear. It's also known as a honey bear because it loves to eat honey. So it was trying to steal honey from the beehive, but why is it called a sun bear? The name sun bear is because of the golden colored crescent shape on its chest. All sun bears have it. You can find sun bears in the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia and other parts of Asia. So other than honey, what do sun bears eat? Sun bears eat both plants and small animals. They eat insects such as bees, termites, and ants, as well as small birds and lizards. They have big claws, which they use to rip open trees and termite nests. The sun bear you found is very young. Normally, sun bears stay with their mothers for three to four years. Well, I think we should help little sun bear find his mother back in the rainforest. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. What's the matter, guys? Why did you stop? It seems like they don't want to go into that direction. If we want to find the sun bear's mother, we have to continue. Let's go. Oh. What's that smell? Yuck, I smell it too. What is it, Hero? A flower? I think the smell is coming from this. This is a Rafflesia flower. They are one of the largest known flowers in the world. So why are there flies? The Rafflesia flower releases a bad smell to attract flies to spread its pollen. That's very interesting, Katie. But let's not stand too close to them. Quickly, let's go. The sun bear and hero tried to warn us. Both of them have a very strong sense of smell. Ah, uh, it still smells horribly here. Oh no, so many Rafflesia flowers. <gasps> <gasps> them. Their noses can help us find a way out. We better stay here, little sun bear. It's up to you now. We did it! We found the sun bear's mother. Great work, everyone. Hooray! a young sun bear in our garden. We learned that a sun bear is the smallest of all bears, but they can be very dangerous. The young sun bear needed his mother, so we went to the forest and returned him home. Good job, children. You did it. Hmm, a bit of green here and... Oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. This is my puppy, Hero. This? Oh, I'm painting the garden. But it's missing something. Hmm. That's it. Hero, go sit over there. Then I'll paint you in it. Thank you, Hero. Perfect. This looks a bit strange. Wait. 
Why is Hero black and white? And why does Hero look rounder? Hey, you're not Hero. You're a bear? There you are, Hero. Where did you go? And who are you? Are you lost? Hmm, where did it come from? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, Bear. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information? Hey, Leo. The computer is coming up with information about our new friend. There. A panda, also known as panda bear, or a giant panda. A giant panda? But it looks small. That's because this panda is a young panda. It can grow up to 1.5 meters long and weigh more than you, me, and Hero combined. Where do giant pandas come from? Giant pandas come from the central parts of China. There, they live almost entirely on a bamboo diet. They love eating bamboo. There's no bamboo in the garden. We have to find a place where there is bamboo. Come and join us. That's a good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. We are finally at the mountain and brrr, it's cold. Let's put on our scarf and gloves. Good idea, Leo. Did you see any bamboo? Hmm, I don't think so. Let's walk around to find the bamboo forest. <laughs> what is it, Hero? Oh, no. The young panda is gone. Where did it go? It must have wandered off while we were putting on our scarves and gloves. We have to find him. Can you smell the panda, Hero? <coughs> Great, we'll follow you. Hey, I saw something black and white behind that rock. Oh my, it's not the young panda, it's a raccoon. Sorry, raccoon. Can you smell the young panda, Hero? There, something black and white behind those plants. <laughs> oh dear, it's a mother goat with her children. She looks angry. Let's go. I think Hero found something. There you are. We've been looking for you, Panda. Phew, I'm glad that it's safe. We did it. We found the bamboo plants. Great work, everyone. Yay! <laughs> a young giant panda in our garden. We learned that giant pandas live in bamboo forests in the mountains. So we found a bamboo forest where he can eat all day. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh. This is my collection of seeds. The small ones go here, the long ones go here, and the big ones go into the last bowl. Hey, are you eating my seed collection? Hmm, I think it's a squirrel, but it sounds like a little bird. Hi, Katie, are you there? Hi, Leo. What a cute little squirrel. 
The sound it makes is called chittering. So, a squirrel chitters. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great. And coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. It seems that the squirrel you found is a plantain squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in trees, and they belong to a group of squirrels called tree squirrels. As a tree squirrel, the plantain squirrel is a very good climber. Its curved claws provide a good grip when it climbs trees. It uses its long and bushy tail for balance when it jumps from place to place. The tail of our squirrel doesn't look very long and bushy. That's because it's very young. It's only around five to six weeks old. Baby squirrels at this stage are around half the size of an adult squirrel. I see. So what kind of food do plantain squirrels eat? Normally, plantain squirrels eat fruits, seeds, insects, and sometimes even bird eggs. But since the squirrel you found is still a baby, it needs to feed on its mother's milk to grow into a strong adult squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Then let's go there and return the baby squirrel to its nest and mother, since it still needs proper care and food. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah. I see you've brought along a young plantain squirrel with you today. The plantain squirrel is very quick and agile in trees. They are able to jump a few meters between trees, and they rarely wander on the ground. Hey, the baby squirrel's gone. There it is. It's eating the tree bark. Actually, the young plantain squirrel is chewing the tree bark. Chewing bark and twigs helps the squirrel to sharpen its teeth. Normally, baby squirrels use the bark and twigs from their nest. So I guess this young squirrel really needs to get back to its home. But where can we find its nest? Plantain squirrels' nests can be found in the crooks or hollows of tall and leafy trees. So they are in high, safe places that are away from predators on the ground. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Maybe this is its home. Oh no, we have to save it. I can't climb this tree. Whoa! That was amazing, Baby Squirrel. That was exciting! I guess we better go somewhere else. Is that the baby squirrel's home? There's a chittering sound coming from inside the nest. Look! There's the mother squirrel! Great work, Hero! We're coming over! Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the baby squirrel's home. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! Hit subscribe and click the like icon. <laughs>